Well, first off, before I get into this thing about the uh, Southern culture of Confederate flag, or whatever you want to call it, and Dukes of Hazard, uh, first off, I want to say I got all these images. Are these are non-commercial uh, uh, images? You know, they're allowed for reuse by people like me. You know, I already that's how I looked them up by that category. But anyway, uh, actually, I got all the freaking uh, Dukes of Hazard uh, DVDs. I had them for about oh, I, I guess about twenty years. <laughs> That's how long I had them, maybe. I think for at least 15 years. I know that. Uh, and, you know, you know, when I look at a Confederate flag, I don't even think of it as... I just think of it as a regional thing. And I think, actually, that's what most people think of it as, who are from down south. I'm not even actually from down south. But I guess if I follow my family lineage, I'm definitely from down south. But I was actually born and raised in New Jersey, near uh, freaking New York City. But, uh, you know, I always liked this car and stuff. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, I think, though, this. I'm going to tell you. The deal is, the people in the um, media, or whatever the hell you want to call them, or people that write things, they are so chicken, man. It's, it's amazing how they just frame this whole debate around, you know, the flag. It's like a symbol of hate or something. Whereas, I could take any religious symbols... Because that's going to actually be next on the list. How many times have religious symbols been used? And, you know, in the name of this, and it, well, hey, in the name of Allah, you know, hey, that's, that was one. A lot of people know that one, right? But, you know, it could be anything. It could be any religion, really. Uh, how many times have religious symbols been used in, uh, you know, in, in a commitment of harm to other people when they're using these symbols, right? A lot of times. How about country symbols? They do it all the time. I mean, it's done all the time, right? Religious writings, or any kind of writings. I mean, crying out loud, you could ban anything over these kind of reasons. And the government didn't ban it. What it is is the big corporations, which is like a bunch of weasels, man. They really are. So I was like, I was trying to get a Confederate flag. I wasn't even interested in getting a Confederate flag until he said you couldn't have one. I wasn't even thinking about getting one, man. So as soon as he said that you can't have one, I was like, I'm going to get one. You know? Hey, so what? So, because uh, I really didn't consider myself like Southern, but then I started thinking, well, maybe I am a little Southern, because if I go back, you know, I'm Southern, and I've been down in the South 20 years, but I'm not exactly, I'm not actually into the Southern. So I, I always liked this show, though. I always liked this show, Dukes of Hazard. Actually, it's the only one I got all the DVDs on and stuff like that. So I went to order flag, and I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're like saying, we're out of them. And I was like, you know, forget it, man. I was like, you know, well, actually, I found out I'm dealing with a place up north. <laughs> I was like, I thought I was dealing with a place down south, man. They're up north. And I'm thinking, you know, you guys, I says, you know, I ain't even trusting those guys up there. I don't even know what they're selling Confederate flags were worth from up north. Uh, I didn't even realize they were from up north. So I actually ordered some from uh, Cooter's Place and uh, probably get them right away. But, you know, I always looked at, you know, the Confederate flag is just a regional symbol. I didn't really look at it even as history or anything like that. And, you know, if you look at the war between the north and the south, I already put a video out on it. Maybe it's going to be, well, I already see the reason for it. That was over money. Uh, it wasn't even... The issue was, I know they say the issue was slavery, uh, and, but, you know, I don't even think so. I went over another video on it. I'm not going to repeat all I said, but I'm going to tell you, that flag, that Confederate flag is just like a regional symbol. That's all it is. It's it's nothing, it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, like, you know, it doesn't mean about, I don't even think of it as the Confederate, I don't think of the Confederate flag of, as a civil war, even. I don't think of it as... Heritage, actually. Uh, I don't even think of it as, um, you know, belonging to a certain group of people or something like that. I, I just think of it as a regional symbol. Like we all know, like the United States, if you really could kind of divide it up into different countries, you could have like the left coast, you can have uh, uh, Norte America, which is part of like Mexico, kind of goes into the United States, in Southern California, Southern Texas. You got the Appalachian area. You got, like, uh, you know, Yankeedom, which is up in New England. You got, like, the Calvinist areas or something. I don't know what the hell it is. The, the Appalachian area, the Midwest. 
the Rocky Mountain area, and you got Dixie. You know, you got Dixie to the south. To me, that's what that that's what that flag means. Uh, it, you know, crap. You know, you tell me it's a hate symbol. Get the hell out of here, man. Uh, so, but you know, like I said, you can take you can take anything and say it's a hate symbol. Now, what about the car itself? I mean, a car. <laughs> I mean, if somebody like, you know, you know, if I got hit with a flag going about twenty five miles an hour, I don't think it would hurt. You know what I mean? But if I got hit, as long as there wasn't a flagpole attached to it, that is. Now, if I get hit with a freaking, uh, you know, a 440 Mopar going at that speed, that would kill me, you know? So, I mean, I don't know what's the danger of how, you know, they're telling you, well, they're, they're full of it when they're telling you this kind of crap. I mean, because I can tell you one thing. I can, you know, if I find the Bible, the Koran, or anything like that offensive, well, I could say it's a hate symbol, and I could point to people that did things that belonged to different religions, and I, you could outlaw everything. So what what are these people doing, man? You know, they're so full of it all the way. But I'm looking at the major media and telling us that these flags are, uh, the the uh, demand for the flags are slowing down. I say, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. I was looking all over the place. I'm, like, trying to get them. I'm, like, this is going to take 10, 10 weeks. Well, not 10 weeks. Take four weeks. I was thinking, I waited four weeks, and these other yo-yos are freaking still screwed up. Up and I'm thinking, well, they're from up north. I don't trust that. <laughs> I canceled that. I went with Cooter's place, actually. Uh, and this is not a plug, but I'm just telling you that. Well, I always liked this guy. <laughs> he, ben. Uh, uh, ben Jones. He was actually the congressman. He's got the flags. So I ordered a few of them over there. <laughs> he's, got a, so he's got the flags down there. He's got the USA flags, and he's got the Confederate flags, the Southern Regional flags, if you want to call it that. Uh, you got, these, these are, you know, actually that one with the stars and the bars is like a southern regional flag. I, that's really what you should call it. Well, I mean, what a bunch of freaking chicken shit ass wipes we got in the media. They got no backbone at all about, I mean, they're afraid to say anything. I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, I could go take, you know, well, he's got loads of stuff in here. And, uh, just turn, I don't know, maybe they're, I don't know where the hell they're made or whatever, but, and you got backwards colored ones, you got the rebel orange and black, you know, if you want to go with that, instead of the, and you got the ones with the, the blue background with the orange uh, X in it and stuff. He's got, he's got the whole nine yards on here, man, so that's cooter. Uh, so, and you know, I got one from, I got a few from him, so I said to hell with it. Yeah, I'll probably get them in a couple of weeks, it'll be a lot faster than another place from up there, up north or something. But, uh, yeah, you know, you could also say, and this is actually my old uh, Roadrunner, <laughs> except I had a rag top. This is a, uh, oh, that's a 383, not a 440. I had a 383 also. 440 built on the side, though. Never put it in. Uh, I had a rag top, though. That was my car, blue, just like that, 69 Roadrunner. And I always liked, I don't know what it was, I always liked that show because the car was cool and everything. It got the Mo, I always liked the Mopars and all that kind of stuff, the big block Mopars. But, you know, they can outlaw the car. <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud, they can say, oh, it's a, um, it's a thing that's harming the trees. Oh, it's this, it's hateful uh, because it's actually wasting our precious resources. You know, they can say you're a hater for doing that, for driving a car. I mean... You know what? I mean, it sounds ludicrous today, but you know what? I already knew it. I knew where the United States was going with this crap years ago. I already knew it. I mean, I knew. I already know the whole nine yards. Actually, these guys, they, we got a bunch of dictators on the top. That's what we really got. And they're telling us, you know, we got the First Amendment is guarantees freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of religion. Now, actually, if you want to, uh, you could just say, you know, the Confederate flag. Or let's call it the Southern Regional Flag, because really that's what it is. I mean, some people are calling it heritage. Some people are saying they're ancestors. But you know what really is going on with people when they have the, the uh, well, the common name is the Confederate flag. What they're really going, what they're really thinking is saying it's a Southern thing. There is a Southern Dixie culture. It's like a regional thing. It's like one of the subcultures in the United States. And it just has to do with, you know, not everybody's into it in the regional thing, but then again, a lot of people are. It don't even matter what race, creed, or color, or age, or group you are. A lot of people are. A lot of people are. It's just a southern thing. And, you know, I can, you could almost call it like, uh, 
But, you know, if you played a game and you said, well, I'm going to make orange flags with, red, with blue stripes, X's on them, a religious symbol, and it could be protected. But, you know, again, it's protected anyway. There, but the thing is, how the hell is the administration in a White House put pressure on Amazon, Google stores, uh, Walmart, um, Sears, and, you know, everybody else just about. I mean, I was trying to get another flag. I was trying to get a flag from this other guy on there, and uh, he said his, his PayPal account was all screwed up, and it wouldn't let me do the order. And he was like one of the, uh, he was like a proud member of the Confederate Sons of the, whatever, I forgot the, what is that group again? Actually, I could I could probably be in that thing. I'm gonna I'm looking I'm got my stuff together to apply for it, but you know I'm not really you know. But actually, the more they freaking tell me I can't do something, the more I want to do it. That's what it comes down to, and it's not a matter of because I realize these yo-yos on the top they're gonna start to start telling you like, well you know well I can already see the next thing. This is gonna be coming up too. I put this thing out about Google cars. You know, they're going to be having, like, um, you know, big news stories coming out. When Say when Google Cars or whatever you have, you know, maybe it's not Google Cars. Maybe it's Android and iPhone Cars or something. I don't know, whatever's out there. Uh, but say, for instance, the cars, you know, you know are all self-driving. They're going to start pushing news stories. Oh, there was a hit and run. Oh, another pedestrian gets killed uh, walking down a uh, country roadway somewhere. Another thing happens here. We got to outlaw this and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? I mean, right now everybody drives a car and they realize, you know, when you're going about 50 miles an hour, that you know, just a quarter turn in the wheel could actually kill people, right? You know, but nobody thinks about it because nobody does it, right? But you know, in the future, once they get this technology where they can restrict your rights of freedom of movement, that's what I'm really getting to. Oh, they're going to say, oh, you can't do that. You can't do this. Screw all these yo-yos, man. You know, get the hell out of here, man. I mean, they can freaking, like, tell you, like, you know, you can't listen to certain music, you can't read certain literature, you can't have, you know, maybe the, uh, an orange car will be offensive, too. Because the orange is associated with, I don't know, the flag was on the roof, right? And that was the color of the car, so orange cars are freaking bad. Or zero one means bad, too. I don't know, good, ooh. You know, cry out loud. I mean, they can, they can go any which way they can with this bullshit. And don't tell me it's too crazy because you know what they do? They only push it when they saturate the public with enough freaking propaganda and the public bites on it like Palov's dogs. You know? It's like they wave the donut in front of their face and they're going, Ugh. you know what I mean? Salivating all over the place. That's exactly how they play the game, man. They condition people enough. It's all psychology. The whole nine yards. It's all psychology. All the way, man. Like this car, you can't supposedly buy it with uh, without the thing on the top. But, you know, I'm like, screw it, man. I mean, you know, if you give them enough shit, they'll relinquish. Because I'm looking at this. I'm going to tell you flat out. What I call this flag is it's a southern regional flag. It's nothing to do with the state. Uh, or the government, it doesn't have anything. To, it, to me, it, it kind of has something to do with. It does. It does have something to do with the Civil War in a way. But actually, why people are really into this flag? It's it's the Southern regional culture. That's what it is. You know, it's like a whole everything put together. Hey, we're from the South. That's what it means. Now, you can tell I'm not from the South because of the way I talk, but, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, it's probably good that maybe I'm saying this stuff because if I had a Southern accent and I was telling you this stuff, you'd probably be, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be, as, I don't even know if it's received well now it is as it is, but you can tell I'm actually just looking at it from another angle, like from an outsider even, you know. Um, like I said, I, the only thing I really had with Southern was these Dukes of Hazzard DVD stuff, and I said, man, I'm ordering some flags, you know, the hell with this bullshit. And, uh, like I said, if they can make this illegal, I know it's not illegal per se, but man, they, they freaking making it like it's illegal. They can't make it illegal. In other words, because of the Constitution. But they made it as illegal as they possibly could without actually passing a law. 
because the big corporations aren't selling it. They're screwing with people that even fly the flag. They're conditioning people that, oh, it's a hate symbol. No, it ain't a hate symbol. It's freaking full of it, man. You know, I mean, it's, well, if you're going to say that, I could take the extreme groups in any religion, and we can ban every single religious book and every single religious symbol and even the country's flags because countries, maybe certain countries or certain flags of certain uh, religions did things in, in the past, and you got some people that are extremists, and since they're still carrying that flag, we could ban it. Yeah, man. Well, I, I didn't, you know, I was, I was almost like, you know, I think I did enough on this subject, but you know, I can tell you one thing. They could ban anything, man. They could ban, like, old-time cars, classic cars. I mean, you could just say it's like, you know, for the good of the environment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for crying out loud, they can ban anything. Screw that, man. Screw that. And, you know, I'm not even going to freaking bring up the point about the Constitution, which is still the law of the land. If there's no, if the Constitution didn't exist, and those yo, these yo-yos were freaking saying they got all the laws and all the legal right to freaking ban this and stop this and say this can't be done, I would still say, screw you. Screw you all the way, man. <laughs> That's what I would say. As soon as you ban something, I think everybody ought to jump on board. Actually, you know, if you don't like the Confederate flag uh, or the flag of South or whatever the hell it is, actually, I look at it as I like calling it the rebel flag in some ways, too, because I think of it as a rebel against all the crap that's out there, no matter what it is. I mean, even Cooter's got some other ones out here. You got the, the rebel orange and black right here, man. That's pretty cool. I mean, say, for instance, you know, you look at, uh, you know, <laughs> you look at, you know, you, you're saying, uh, you know, I want something a little bit different. It doesn't identify exactly with, you know, the South all the way. But, you know, hey, you got the rebel orange and black. That's kind of cool, too. Those are Harley Davidson colors, man. I don't know. Uh, you got a lot of different ways of freaking. It, it's, it's actually, uh, it's really a pop culture thing. I mean, you got... You know, the semi-trucks, the fish, the motorcycles. That, well, that's actually like southern stuff, man. Southern country all the way. Deer, uh, the deer, uh, till I die flag, redneck, right? Or whatever, man. Just whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat, man. You know? Whatever you want. So, but he's, you see, actually the real Confederate flag was this deal right here, or this one right here. <laughs> that's really what they really were. But, you know, nobody really rec nobody looks at that today. They don't even know what the hell that is. So, anyway, uh, you know, I just look at it like, you know, if they could ban this, I mean, yeah, they didn't really ban it, but they're like, ooh, it's evil. It, fucking morons. It ain't evil, man. It just means the southern region. It's Dixie. You know, hey, you know, whatever. Big deal, right? I mean, I could tell you that 440 Mopar, 375 horse, 440 cubic inch with the Carter AFB carburetor on it is evil because it's in the, in, in the Dukes of Hazard car and that car had a flag on it. So this engine is evil. I mean, you know, well, they, they, they could do anything and they will do anything. They will do anything. They will. It sounds crazy that even some of the stuff I'm telling you right now that they're going to come out in the future and say, oh, you'd be driving out of car. They're going to be pushing news stories left and right how a jaywalker got hit by a car or somebody got uh, fell asleep at the wheel or watch they're going to ban you from like you're going to all be electronically controlled in your transportation where you go and how how, how many miles you're allowed to go and when you can go watch yeah <laughs> it's worse than it's worse than you think man so anyway that's one and that's one reason i like this flag because it does mean rebel. It doesn't really mean about rebel what it was in 1861. It means rebel against all the bullshit that's going on today. It's all stupid stuff that these yo-yos are a bunch of pinheads. They're trying to run every freaking aspect of your life, you know. And Cooter's like, you know, trying to fight the stuff here. I, mean, I like Cooter, man. I, always, I mean, I always liked his shit. I, I know it was kind of crazy in that show. He, 
you know, like the car would come in and probably needed a whole new engine. He'd have it done in like two hours, you know. I was like super mechanic. But actually a lot of people in the South are super mechanics. That's why I always had a respect for them, man. I'll tell you what, man. Man, some of the people in the South are super mechanics. They really are. They really are. But, uh, yeah, you know, I look at it like, you know, it's it's kind of like a, a rebel against all the bullshit flag. <laughs> That's what I think. I think of it as. You know, some people, it's also a, a southern, a regional thing. It's just a southern cultural thing. It's a it's a pop culture symbol. I mean, nobody's really thinking about even a civil war. But, like I said, I put a video, and I don't know if that's going to really... But I try to be accurate. I actually use a lot of Wikipedia references with that. I use all Wikipedia references. And I've pretty much shown that, you know, in my very, very strong ironclad opinion. I know these people are freaking too scared to say it. The Civil War, the war between the states, or the war of northern aggression, was all about freaking money. All about the tariff. And you know what? Those yo all these new history right history writers today, uh they're they're a bunch of ass wipes. They're too afraid to say say what it really was about. I mean I'm not gonna rehash what I said in that video, but but it's just like everything, man. They're all a bunch of freaking limp wimps they're a bunch of wimps man that's all they are i mean everybody's caving in on his bullshit left and right and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean you got all kinds of freaking flags this guy's got loads of them so anyway it's one guy that's got him cooter man cooter store so anyway i don't mean i mean i don't know i i couldn't i just putting this out because i couldn't find any and uh he was the only one that's got him i was like shit so um, i got a few from this guy and uh you know anyway <laughs> i don't know that's all i got to say about this because it's more than just a flag it's more than history or states rights it doesn't even really have not much to do with that it has to really to do with it's a southern regional thing it's a thing that people always can identified with you know that they're from the south and that's their flag they're, they're all USA, pro USA to the max. I mean, I never seen anybody, you know, with the South that are like with the rebel flag that are anti-American. They're about as they're more pro-American anywhere else than anywhere else out in the in the, in a whole rest of the country practically. And it's like uh, it's just just part of like this Southern culture. That's all it is. Just like the Dukes of Hazard, you know, and the Cooter's Garage and stuff. It's some cool stuff, you know. So, you know, you don't have to be into it. It's like, what, if you like it, enjoy it. So, I mean, you know, I mean, definitely ain't doing nobody any harm. Because I could tell you one thing, that the, the kid that did the harm, he wasn't into all this stuff. The only thing he had was a flag prop in his hand that, to me, it looks like two of those photographs were blatant photoshops. And they were released by the Southern Poverty Law Center. I'll mention this at the end. Soros-funded deal. So anyway, um, if you can't get a flag, and they are still selling like crazy. The media is trying to say that the sales have been dropping off. No, they're, they're selling like crazy, man. They're, getting, they're tough to get. They're tough to get. They are. So I got some from Cooter, so that's where I got mine from. But my real main point on this is really it's just a southern um, cultural thing. It's just like, you know, it's it's a regional flag it's like yeah dixie you know that's all it means it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything political it doesn't mean anything really that just means like you know anything southern it could be it's and you know everybody knows like the south is more country down home down earth and i think this show the dukes of hazard really showed what the south was about with the family values and everything like that working on the farm and all that so i mean that's that's really what that flag means but anyway, got to fight the bullshit. That's what it goes comes down to.